Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. It's James Wilkinson here from Albatross Digital Golf. And I um, would like to thank you for joining and in on this call. And I'm just going to um, make Mike Hyde a host. So hopefully Mike can say hello now as well. Mike, are you there? Uh, yeah. Uh, how's it going? Hello, Mike. Very well, thank you. Thanks for giving us this opportunity to talk to your members. No problem. Uh, so we the participants are slowly rolling in. Um, so we got Simon from Tilney Park. Hi, Simon. Um, so, Mike, do you just want to say a few quick words beforehand before we kick Absolutely. off? Yeah, One thanks. Minute. Welcome, everybody. Thank you to everyone who's joined us. Um, this is the second GCMA webinar we've run. Uh, uh, thank you to anyone who's joined us for both. We had some really nice feedback from the Play More Golf webinar that we ran two weeks ago. Uh, so hopefully this will be just as valuable. James has done some, some really great presentations for us over the last sort of, six months, kicking off with uh, a conference last year, one of the best uh, rated sessions we held uh, down at Mercedes-Benz world and also has been doing a couple of regional meetings and feedback has been that there's some really great uh, practical tips but also some excellent theory in here in terms of digital marketing so uh, i know we've already pinched a couple of ideas as well so hopefully you'll find it really useful um, and james is, is very helpful and approachable to work with so hopefully it's useful um, and you'll get a recording of this after the meeting um, once we've we've closed it off that you can have to circulate around your club um, and we'll be announcing the next couple of webinars soon. Uh, we've literally just signed up another one, actually 59 Club are gonna run one in about three weeks. So you'll get a note about that in, in the next newsletter as well. So hopefully this is valuable. I will leave you in James's hands. I'll be floating around. So any questions I can and maybe help with at the end, um, but enjoy and over to you. Thanks, James. Thank you, Mike. Um, so I'm just quickly going to press record on the um webinar so that anyone who hasn't been able to join us can watch this back so we'll send a link around afterwards um but yeah let's get things going so this webinar or this online coaching is all about society lead generation but also it's can be used for things like uh membership lead generation and green fee lead generation even weddings and so on and so forth but the idea is to we're just going to go show you a campaign that's worked really well for us that helped generate 750 society leads with names email addresses society size and permission to call but before i kick things off just to be 100 percent sure can everyone see the webinar slides so if you could just say yes or press one on your keyboard i'm um, sorry in the group chat just to confirm so that i'm not talking to a blank screen um so if you could just type yes or hit one on your keyboards cool got it all right great so i will get rolling so don't forget to add any questions in the comment section and then i will get do a q a at the end so we can go through any questions um so what i'm going to show you today is the five steps that we took to generate the Staffordshire Golf Club 750 uh, society leads in 30 days. And the exact offer we used, why it's so important to have the right offer before you launch a campaign, and the targeting and budget we use for our Facebook advertising. So if you don't know me, as uh, Mike just did a very brief introduction, but my name is James and I run Albatross Digital Golf. I founded it in 2015 and we have been working with a number of golf clubs over the years, helping sort of the leading private members clubs and leading proprietary clubs um, uh, generate significant return on investment using digital marketing. And so first and foremost, just to kick things off, I just wanted to, excuse me. Sorry. So, um, so first and foremost, I am, I'm a marketer, not a golfer. So my background has been in digital marketing and I've been doing digital marketing for about 13 years now. Um, I started off in the music industry. I worked with companies like Universal, Samsung, Vodafone, 
So my background's always been in digital. And I got into golf by mistake. So basically, my brother challenged me to do a scratch round in a year when I started playing golf in the evenings once when I was in between jobs. And I thought, you know, this is really simple and I could hit the ball fairly straight. And I thought, you know, there's no, this game isn't hard at all. So my brother challenged me to do a scratch round in a year and I set up a YouTube channel on a Facebook page. And I lasted about three months before I realized it was a silly idea and not possible in a million years. But since then, it wasn't all in vain because it was from this challenge that I started to look at golf clubs, websites and social media accounts, promotions, etc. And I discovered there's a lot of clubs out there that could do with a little bit of help when it comes to this area of marketing. Um, so since then, we've gone on to work with a number of clubs up and down the country, some familiar faces and some perhaps not so familiar. But this all leads back to the point that this works for every club out there. So north, south, east, west of the country, uh, although we don't really work with any clubs in Wales yet, but I'm pretty sure they have mobile phones and new social media in those countries too. So this is just to show, you know, this can work for any club. It doesn't, you don't need to be like a top 100 club or, um, you know, a, a leading members club. It could be any club out there. And the reason why I love golf and digital marketing and digital marketing in the golf industry is because it works and it's new and it's fresh and it gets incredible results because there's no competition. So at the minute, um, a lot of clubs are, very few clubs are taking up the opportunity to run digital marketing campaigns. So what that means is that the first out there, the first to market, will get the, be the first one to actually get the most success. And so since then, we've uh, helped golf club managers like Jerry Kilby here, and we've helped Jerry generate 90 new members in three months from um, a campaign that we ran for him. And Paul Thornton generate um, and close his full membership in just four months. And then Sam, Paul at Liga, uh, the Sale Golf Club, we helped generate over £50,000 from our social media campaign. So Sam's actually come on and he's now an employee of Albatross. Um, but we first started working together in 2015. So what is, I always like to start things off with what digital marketing is exactly and the reason why is because when you have when people say we need to do facebook advertising we need to be doing social media and what we tend to find is that this digital marketing and social media only really works when you've got everything working in unison so digital marketing covers everything from your website your email marketing your social media your data capture pay-per-click and display advertising like google adwords and whatnot and what we found over the years is that when you run a Facebook ad campaign, it will only tend to work if you sync it up to capture data. And then you need to implement things like email marketing. And then, you know, you need to get your website, a pixel on your website to retarget your website visitors. And then you can also capture your website visitors with data capture tools on your website. And when we get our best results is when we have all these different areas of digital marketing working together to form one outcome, uh, which is to generate sales. So the benefits of digital marketing is that you can accurate, you can measure results accurately in real time. So when you go to put an advert in a newspaper or on the radio or TV or wherever it may be, and you spend thousand pounds on that advert and it doesn't generate you any return on investment, that money's gone and it's been a bit of a waste. But where, when it comes to digital marketing, you can measure the return on your investment. So you can just put in small budgets to begin with. So you can spend 10 pounds a day maybe, or even five pounds a day, just to generate some leads and generate some um, results and then see if that campaign is working. And if it is, then great. You might want to learn what works best and allocate more budget to scale and increase your return on investment. Or you might want to pause that advert and start again and or change it and start with a different campaign if it's not getting you the results that you desire. And so that's one of the main benefits to digital marketing and Facebook advertising and other types of areas of, um, of online advertising. You see, you don't need huge budgets to begin with. It's only when you want to use huge budgets when you are starting to get really good results and you know a campaign is going to get you success. So I just wanted to, if people could type into their, into the group chat. How do you generate society leads? So if, you could, if there's any one of these particular 
items here or at one of these particular um, options. If you could just type into your keyboard, uh, sorry, into the chat box. So you might use chance, data capture on your website, local newspapers, local radio, third party websites. Now, <clears throat> if these work for you, then that's great. And you don't want to stop using them. If something works, then there's no point in stopping it because if it's generating you results, then why would you want to stop getting results? So, but what we're finding is that a lot of our clubs have used these types of services before and they're just not really delivering results anymore. So the reason why we love Facebook advertising is because at the minute, Facebook has 31 million active monthly users. So that's 60% of the adult population in the UK are on Facebook. And people spend 50 minutes on Facebook. That's the average amount of time they spend on a day. The company has told us that users spend each day on its Facebook, Instagram, Messenger platforms. And that's not counting the popular messaging app, WhatsApp, which is also owned by Facebook. And now if you think about it, that's more than, that's, that in, in 50 minutes you could play half a match of football, you could listen to Dark Side of the Moon in its entirety if you were a Pink Floyd fan, or you could make a skillet grilled seafood chorizo paella. Um, but the point I'm making is that people spend a lot of time on Facebook on a daily basis. So here's the exciting thing about Facebook users for golf clubs. So if you look at this graph, I always like to make a point of this graph because a lot of people say Facebook is and uh, social media is a young person's game and only people, teenagers and you know, people in their early 20s are on Facebook. But if you look at this graph, this says the opposite. So Facebook numbers, number of Facebook users by age, by far the largest number of Facebook users is 25 to 34 year olds. So that's in 2017, 7 million users are aged 25 to 34 year olds. But then surprisingly, what I think a lot of people might be surprised by is that the next largest age group is actually 35 to 44 year olds. And then it's closely followed by 45 to 54 year olds. So if you look at this area here, it's by far the largest area age, um, sorry, the, the largest age range of Facebook users. And I'd say for a lot of clubs that we talk to, that is the type of audience and the age group that they're trying to attract. It's those people that, you know, can no longer be reached by print adverts or adverts in the local newspaper. You know, they don't listen to radio so much anymore. They're constantly on their mobile phones, probably on Facebook a lot of the time as well. So this is backed up by one of our campaigns that Sam Paul actually ran when he was at Lee Golf Club. And he ran just purely Facebook advertising campaigns for his, um, throughout the year of 2000, well, last year. And he only ran Facebook ads, generating leads, getting new members through the door. And the average age of the new members was at Lee Golf Club was 47, which kind of goes, it sort of backs up those stats that we showed you before on this slide. Um, so that's a good example of the age range of Facebook users. But a problem we see with a lot of clubs, and not just golf clubs, but businesses in general, are finding that when they post on Facebook, they're not really getting any results. And so people, they'll, they'll spend a, you know, a significant portion of their time and efforts posting on a daily basis, posting pictures of the club and come and buy our green fees. And that's what's called an organic post, so i.e. posting without paying. And that is declining year on year, and it's only going to get worse and worse. And essentially what this means is Facebook is now a pay-to-play platform. So whereas um, you might have to pay to pay Google, you might have to pay Google to put your advert at the top of the Google search for if you wanted to put a golf, um, if you wanted to put your golf club at the top of Google search for golf clubs in Surrey, you'd have to pay Google for that. Or if you wanted to put an advert in a newspaper, you'd have to pay the newspaper for that. So they're essentially an advertising platform for you. And that's Facebook is no different to, the, to them. And so here's an here's a example of an organic post. So this post went out. It hasn't particularly been thought about too much. And yeah, the, the image isn't particularly very clear what that is. It's an organic post. It had one like and it was reached by 435 people. The reach is basically the number of Facebook users that see this post. So here's a, 
another advert that we've run. This is a little short advert that we posted targeting website visitors. It's a paid post. It's a countdown for Clubhouse Reopen. It had 63 likes, 16 shares. It reached 3.8 thousand people. They were all website visitors as well. So, you know, they're really highly targeted audience, people that have been on the website recently. It had two and a half thousand video views and we only spent £9.50 on that advert. So that's the difference between a, an advert which you put no budget into and an advert that you put a small amount of budget to budget into and the, the different results that it can get. So a small amount of budget goes a long way. And this is why Mark Zuckerberg is the fifth richest person in the world. Now he's not the fifth richest person in the world because he likes to help businesses out and give them free promotion on his platform. He is the fifth richest person in the world because hundreds of thousands of businesses pay him and his platform to advertise to their users. And you'll probably notice in the news at the minute that there is a bit of an uproar going on. And um, so it's, you know, so things might change in the future. We don't know what's going to happen, but at the minute, Mark Zuckerberg is still the fifth richest person in the world and Facebook advertising still works. So there is good news though, because because right now when you get advertising on Facebook, right, there is, it is in comparison to Google AdWords and other platforms like that, it is significantly cheaper to get clicks and to get results. So if you take this video, for example, we helped, it helped us generate 45,000 views, 69,000 golfers were reached. And I'll show you the, the targeting that we use for different types of adverts, targeting golfers in a second. It had one and a half thousand comments. So how much would you spend on that? Well, we spent 289 pounds to get those results. So if you think about that, 289 pounds to reach almost 70,000 golfers is a significantly low amount when you consider how much it costs to put an advert into a newspaper, say. So say a newspaper might so it's 500 pounds how many of those readers are actually golfers and then how many of them are actually going to read your advert as well and then you can see the difference between the two when you that's the when you get facebook advertising right so when you comes to facebook targeting um, and targeting people you can target based on age so if you want to target seniors you could do um people over 65 or if you want to target juniors you can target people so, or, you know, intermediates, you could target people under 30. We've had a lot of success with that. Um, you can target people based on gender. So male, female, obviously. Financial status. So you can target people dependent um, on what Facebook deems as their um, income levels. So, again, this, that's going into the sort of the big brother type targeting that's in the news at the minute. Um, but, you know, those options are there for how much longer. Who knows? But... <coughs> They are still there in a minute. And so you can target people based on job titles as well. So perhaps you want to target doctors or teachers or you know, people um, on shift workers. And you can also target other Facebook pages they like. So that's quite an important one because basically when we set up Facebook targeting, we want to target people that like PJ Tour, European Tour, Rory McIlroy, Justin Rose, um, Taylor May, Golf, etc. And those are the Facebook pages. And so that allows you to target the people that like those pages. And then you can also target location, which is also pretty pivotal because you want to be targeting people who are within, say, a half hour drive of your club. There's no point in targeting someone for membership who lives an hour away. So this is an example of a region in Bristol. And this is a screenshot of the Facebook advertising platform. So that is Bristol. Bristol Airport, and we're targeting everyone 30 kilometers from that airport or from Bristol Airport. These are the types of interests we're targeting. So people, they're interested in the Golf Channel, Golf Course, PGA Tour, Rory McIlroy, Ryder Cup. So these are just, this is just a handful of the types of additional interests that you can target on Facebook. So basically that means, what it means is anyone that likes the page of the Ryder Cup or anyone that likes Rory McIlroy's page and is in that region. So in that area, here, people that like these different golf interests. So Facebook's telling us there's 91,000 people in this area. So that's 91 potential, 91,000 potential customers that are on Facebook in that area. So when you put all this together, all of it combined makes Facebook by far the most powerful and targeted advertising platform in the world. 
so how does it work? So this is me. I'm a golfer, um, pretty terrible golfer, but I'm 35 year old male from London. And I like the pages of PJ Tour, Ian Poulter, Rory McIlroy, and Taylor May Golf. And basically, I log into Facebook every day on my laptop and on my mobile phone. And now this is me as an agency owner or Facebook marketer. And my job is to use Facebook adverts to grow audiences and put the right offer in front of the right person at the right time. So this is how I do it. So I'm going to show you the five steps to generating over 750 society leads in 30 days. So step one is to come up with an irresistible offer. Now, the reason why you need an irresistible offer is because people aren't on Facebook to, they're not searching for your golf club like they are on Google. They're on Facebook to look at pictures of their friends and families and get updates from their friends and family and watch videos of cats. And um, so you need to come up with something pretty irresistible to grab their attention. And so for the Staffordshire, which is the campaign that I'm going through, which helped generate those leads, for the Staffordshire, we use the Ultimate Society Day for up to 20 people. So this is the exact advert that we ran. So you see there's 43,000 views, 1,000 likes, uh, sorry, 1,000 comments. And what we did is we asked people to comment when to enter to, uh, to be in the chance of winning at the Ultimate Society Day for up to 20 people. So it's vital to have an offer people are actually willing to swap their contact details for. Now, you're not going to get results if you say, uh, comment win or click on this link to win a golf tee or a golf ball. Um, it has to be something that really stop people in their tracks whilst they're scrolling down the Facebook news feed. So just asking people to comment on the advert, that's what we use, that's the process that we used for this um, campaign. Now the best offers to generate leads that we found over the years is things like free memberships. So we often do things like win a pair of free memberships, um, sorry, win a pair of free month memberships or six month memberships. Free society days out, always a good one because when you're, when you're targeting people with a free society days out, sorry, with a free society day out, generally the only people that are going to enter that are, or the vast majority of people in society. So what you're doing is you're segmenting the people that actually enter because you know, when you've got a free membership, any golfers were going to want to enter that. But when you've got a free society day, the idea is that only people in societies will enter. So you can also do things like free four balls, even free weddings, uh, free venue hires for your party and events. So basically a good hook to catch the data. Now step two is targeting a local golf audience. So as you saw before, um, you can target lots of different interests on Facebook, people that have interests, and these are, this is a different, um, this is some different interests here. So you've got Callaway Golf Company, Chad Campbell, so you know, it really digs deep. There's some very niche golf interests in there. Now, anyone that likes Charles Schwartzel is gonna be a pretty significant golfer, or you know, a pretty keen golfer, should I say. So this is the actual targeting that we went through with the Staffordshire. So that is the Staffordshire there. And that audience, there was a potential audience of this, this one here is 83,000 people. So I'm actually going to show you the advert that we ran and the targeting that we ran in a second live. Um, so step three is the entrance in getting them to complete a short survey. So once someone actually clicks on that advert, you've now got to capture their customer data. And the goal here is to find out the society information because you don't just want a name and an email address. You want to find out more. You're giving away the ultimate society day. You want to get a bit more data out of them. So you request entrance to complete their entry by filling out a short one minute survey. And the most important question is please leave your phone number if you're interested in a callback. So I'm gonna show you in a second the whole process. But this is an example of the data we received. So I've blocked out a lot of it. But here is the society name, roughly how many are in the society, the nearest largest town, what the favorite course to play is, what their favorite course to play is, sorry. Um, would they like a discount bound voucher to come and play the Staffordshire? So that's the idea to get the um, society organizer through the, day, through the door. Do you organize the societies? What's your name? What's your email address? And then this is that pivotal question that I was talking about. And it's for everyone that has entered and doesn't win our main prize, they will be given a special offer society rate at the Staffordshire Golf Club. 
Would you be interested in talking with one of our specialist team about playing the Staffordshire in the future with your society? So if they say yes to that, then we ask them to leave their phone number. And what that's doing is that is, now you'll get 300, so there was 750 entrants, but only 300 left their phone numbers. Now, you could have asked for all 750 to leave their phone number, but you would have had 450 that didn't want to leave their phone number. They're not interested in a call back from you. And the way that we've done it is by having 300 people, like we've got 300 people leave their phone number saying, yes, please, I want to call back. And so when you do call them to say, hey, have you booked your society in this year? Or are you interested in booking for next year? They're not going to be shocked. or they're not going to say, why are you calling me? I didn't ask you to call me. So that's pretty pivotal. Um, and although it might mean you have less data, it means that at least you've got 300 phone numbers of people that are interested in receiving a call from you, not 750 phone numbers with people that you're not really sure whether they want to call or not. So step five is all about calculating your return on investment. So for the Staffordshire, for these types of campaigns, they cost £900. And that's what we charged for this special one-off rate for the Staffordshire and a few other clubs. And so, including BAT, it was £10,080. Now, the Staffordshire made 18 bookings in 30 days from this campaign. But this is a return on investment calculator. So I just wanted to give you an idea. Now, this is, you know, very ballpark figures. It's just, it's not specific to this campaign. It's just a kind of ballpark figure of, say, one society of 25 people, revenue £750. So... One society booking makes a return on investment of minus 330. So if you look here, we went with campaigns with clubs that we run this for. If we didn't generate a return on investment, we would refund the clubs the money that they didn't make back. Because we wanted to make sure that people have trust in digital marketing. They're not just in it for, um, you know, they're not seeing us run the campaign and it not working and us walking away and they've lost money. So, but... Most, pretty much every society campaign that we've run for our clients have generated a minimum of five societies from it. So here you can start to see the return on investment build. There's the more societies. Now the Staffordshire, as I said, they generated 18 in just 30 days and they've also generated a significant number more since then. So when you get these right, these campaigns for a small amount of budget, so just a thousand and eighty pounds, or even if you were to run this yourself, you could just spend 300 pounds or so on ad spend and generate all these leads, follow up with them, and you could generate a significant return on investment. So that's when you get Facebook ads right. So this doesn't also include things like um, other avenues, uh, sorry, other avenues to generate extra income from visiting parties. So, you know, it doesn't include bar spend, pro shop spend, buggies and trolley hire, halfway house, um, the lifetime value of a customer. And hopefully, you know, if you wow your societies, they're going to come back. Um, so, oops, excuse me. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you this, how this, this funnel, I'm going to quickly show you how the funnel works. So you got this advert, I showed you the advert. If to Facebook, you drive traffic from Facebook, you can drive traffic from your existing email database. You can drive traffic from Twitter. You can drive traffic from LinkedIn. You can drive traffic from anywhere. Um, you get them to your advert. From the advert, you want to get them onto your survey. And that's going to pre-qualify entrance and assist you in finding out pivotal society data. So you, you know, just showed you what sort of data you want to capture, things like society name sizes. If you capture society size, then you can filter your data to target the bigger societies and concentrate on them first. And then once someone has entered their survey, they'll also receive a series of emails. So I'm going to now show you the actual advert. So I'll put this on mute. So this is the advert that we ran. And as you see, you see here, it's got a thousand comments. Um, it's a video ad. So we tend to do a lot of video ads these days because they get the best results. Um, people want to see the golf club in real time and in motion and see some videos of it, not just a sort of a touched up photo. Um, so this is the video that we ran. So this is the Seriously I'm Shocked, we're giving away the Ultimate Society Day and you haven't entered yet, just comment win below. So they comment win, they then receive a message and that drives them to this survey. So this is the survey, this is the exact survey that we ran and I'm gonna quickly run through it now. 
So what are you? Oh, this is the exact survey. Sorry, this isn't the exact survey. This is a different survey. Um, but this is this is um, this is the flow from the the basically you just got a picture. This says the the survey for the um, society. So I'll say I'm interested in society. Dave, what is your full name? Great. Here's my made up email. <clears throat> is this your first time on the Staffordshire website? Yes, today is my first time. We once a month we would like to send you two for one vouchers competitions. Would you be interested in subscribing? So this is basically getting people to become um, GDPR compliant. So if they say yes, then we'll send them emails. If they say no, we won't send them emails. Are you in a golf society? What is the name of your society? So the London Golf Society. What's the nearest town? London, surprisingly. Roughly how many are in your society? 30. Would you like a voucher for a discount round to come and play? Yes, please, I would. Once a year, we would like to offer you a special society rate. Would you be interested in talking one of us, um, sorry, one of our specialist team about playing? Yes, I would. Please enter your phone number. Here's my phone number and so on and so forth. So when someone clicks submit, that then data gets stored. You can download it as a spreadsheet and then filter it. And as I said, you can filter it by um, the, the societies that have entered and their size so that you can just target the larger societies if you want to begin with. I and mean, people enter, you know, society size of eight. So you don't really want to be wasting too much time on those types of societies. So this is Facebook adverts. And this is the uh, Adverts Manager platform. So this is the exact platform, or sorry, the exact advert account that we ran this campaign from. So I'm going to show you the targeting. So this is the targeting that we ran for that society campaign to generate those 700 leads. So as you can see here, 50 were targeting people within 50 kilometers of the club. So, you know, put roughly an hour's drive. Um, men age 31 to 65 plus and then all these different golf interests and then so Facebook's telling us there's a reach of 120,000 people in that area and so on and so far I won't go too deep, um, too far into this is it's you know so something separate that you would want to have a look at there's plenty of courses online that you can um go to and and learn about how to do it it's pretty simple but it's you know it's not something you can do in five minutes so this is the advert as i showed you before that's the video ad and that's pretty much the facebook advertising platform um and so this this is the exact account that we ran that generated those leads and for this one advert we ran two adverts for that campaign i think we spent about 300 pounds in total this one advert, we spent £215. And we ran that for about three weeks. Um, so you, it's not an ins insignificant amount of budget, but it, or at the same time, you know, it's not thousands of pounds either. So that is the campaign. So that, that's basically, you know, what you're seeing here is what I just showed you in real time. So the most important factor about digital marketing is that no matter how great you are at it, and no matter how many people see your advert, unless you have an offer people actually want to buy, then your efforts are wasted. And what I mean here is you could have, you could have the best course in the world, but if your membership is £10,000 and you're running an advert, you're, the best, you're running the best adverts in the world as well, if there's not an audience on Facebook for it, your advert's not going to work. And so unless you have an offer that works, unless you have an offer people actually want to take you up on, your Facebook ads won't work. But Facebook ads and digital marketing is not rocket science. So I dropped out of school at 16. Um, Sam, who is now my colleague, he, he ran some huge campaigns for Lee Golf Club when he was there last year as a golf club manager. You know, he had no experience really in digital marketing or Facebook advertising other than what I taught him, what he learned. He built a Wix page and ran some Facebook ads. And he generated about £28,000 in membership and green fee revenue over five months. Um, and he spent next to nothing on advertising. So, you know, it's not rocket science. At the same time, 
it's not easy because if it was, everybody would be doing it perfectly and I wouldn't be here on this webinar and we wouldn't have a business. So, you know, it certainly isn't easy. It can, sometimes they can work and they can fly off the shelf and your adverts are getting incredible results and you're really impressed with it. And in the next week you run another advert and it completely flops and no one takes you up on it and it costs a bomb and you know, you waste 50 pounds. So it's, it, it's about getting that balance right. And it can be frustrating. You can pull your hair out on it, but it's not easy. But you know, when you get, when you spend some time and you spend low budgets and you do small amounts of targeting and you learn how, how to get along and sort of build up your skill set from a, you know, over, over a um, sustained period of time, then that's how you start to learn and how you can tweak things and get things better. So the other thing to remember, an important thing is that it only takes one successful Facebook ad campaign to skyrocket your sales. So as I was saying, just alluding to earlier, you know, Lee Golf Club, Sam Paul, when he was manager of Lee, helped generate 27,000 pounds in revenue. This um, campaign for the Staffordshire it probably generated at least 20,000 pounds in revenue now from society sales. So it's just one advert can really make a huge difference to your business's bottom line. So that's it for me. I've got some time now for any Q and A. So if anyone's got any questions at all, then just fire them into the chat box, into the group chat, and I will answer them for you. Or if you have any questions, you can also email me. And I will also, Mike will send this around to the team so that to, uh, to the members of the GCMA. So if you want to uh, just, he, his, my contact details will be in that email. So you can also contact me and drop me any message, uh, drop me an email, just let me know if you've got any questions. Um, I will be all ears and I'll let you know, we like to help golf clubs and there's no, uh, no prerequisites for us helping you. We, uh, we help a number of managers, um, just give them some advice. Um, so I'm glad that has helped everyone. And <clears throat> I'll also, we'll also be doing some other webinars down the line on different subjects in different areas of digital marketing. So if anyone's got any particular areas as well, then I'm all ears and I will do what I can to sort of um, put a webinar together on different, tactics that you can use. So it doesn't look like there's any questions. So I'm going to, rather than carry on rabbiting, I will end this now. And like I said, if you've got any questions at all, just drop me a line and I will get back to you. And we'll also get this out as a